Marge, I'm about ready to cave in. Are we going to stay here for a while? Lieutenant's coming. Ask him. Sir? I'm afraid so, Fisher. Lieutenant, we've been pushing it steady for the last 48 hours. Everybody's putting in overtime these days, Sergeant. What the Sergeant's saying, Lieutenant. I know what he's trying to say, Marks. Our orders are, we are to be the first outfit to use this village for rest and recreation. Rest and recreation? <laughs> what, Lieutenant, you mean we're gonna stay here for real? Well, it's about time! <laughs> yeah! Yeah! Hold up, man. I, got a I just spoke to Major Jample. Battalion is in Division Reserve, and this town is to be our headquarters. He said the men of battalion are to use whatever limited recreational facilities are available. You fellas are going to have to goof off for a couple of days. You did say goof off, didn't you, Lieutenant? That's practically an order. Uh, I think I'll pick you up on that, sir. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Finally going to write that long letter to the wife and kids. Lieutenant, that little joke's going to cost you a drink. That's war, Sergeant. the other side. Thank you. 
ma quella! C'est américain, c'est américain, ma regardez monsieur, comment je suis Monsieur, allez-vous des cigarettes Allez-vous des cigarettes américaines Monsieur, 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 monsieur je vous en prie des cigarettes. Des cigarettes américaines Non, oh, nothing, I guess he's gone. Yes, sir, maître, c'est sûr, nothing go by. Vous avez vu quelqu'un passer par ici Non, 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 Monsieur, avez-vous des cigarettes américaines Je vous en prie, je vous en prie, des cigarettes américaines Cage. Little John, take the houses on this side. Kirby, Marks, yeah. go through the houses on the other side. Oh, Sarge is gone. He's a mile away by now. Look anyway. Fisher's dead, sir. He's been wanting to write that long letter home for the last two weeks. Germans pulled out of this town four hours ago. If the sniper didn't leave with him, maybe he's figuring I'm not leaving at all. Maybe he just wanted to get a last shot in before he took off. Well, maybe he's a hard case. The go down fighting type. You keep checking every room of every building in this town. I want that sniper. I told you, Sarge, he left. 48 hours off and we gotta spend it chasing a ghost. Well, keep moving, keep looking, let's go. But we told everybody to keep off the streets. Il y a un franc tireur dans le village. Il y a un franc tireur dans le village. On vous a demandé de ne pas rester dans les rues jusqu'à temps qu'on l'abatte. Vous avez compris? Je n'ai aucune raison d'avoir peur. Je ne sais pas en Canada. C'est vous qui êtes les soldats. Vous portez l'uniforme de l'armée américaine. He said he's not worried, so the sniper's not after him, he's after us. How come he's so sure? On se fait tirer, vous en êtes si sûr. Let him go. Let him go for now. Let's keep looking. Let's go. Oui. I was taught English by the sisters at the convent. Hey, that's good. Uh, listen, I gotta ask you a couple of questions about the sniper. The one that uh, shot the GI out there in the street a little while ago. Uh, understand? Sniper. Compris? Oui. Nah. Hey, uh, hey, you and me understand each other pretty good, you know that? I'd like to say back in the States, uh, what time are you going to get off here later? <laughs> I just thought I'd ask you. <laughs> All I'm trying to do is be friendly now. The least that you could do is just uh, cooperate a little bit with your liberators. Well, honey, I ain't going to hurt you. No. Look, I'm a lonely GI, you understand? No reason in the world why you and me can't go out together tonight. We, we get to know each other a little bit. Stick away from me. <laughs> <laughs> you pack a real wallet, don't you? We, we can use you up the front. You're a regular tiger, you know that? Lay off, Kirby. 
You're supposed to be out looking for that sniper. Look, you said to ask questions, Sarge. Now, that's exactly what I was doing. I know what you're doing. Hey, c'est l'affaire, Sergent. Avec Françoise, ça n'a aucune importance. All right, the sniper. What else? I'm sorry, but uh, Kirby gets out of line sometimes. What did that guy say just now in there about the girl? Oh, that guy? He said you shouldn't have leaned on Kirby so much. The girl wasn't worth it. Oh, yeah? Why don't you paint a target on your chest? Ah, Sarge, you don't let that sniper get on your nerves. Come on, get inside. Get inside. Hey, Kirby. What did he say? We gonna get some recreation? <laughs> yeah, as soon as the war's over. Checkmate King, too. Yes, sir. We're almost secure. We got into town, we got hit by a sniper. Lost one man. Hello, Marcel. We'll expect you about noon, sir. Over. Yes, sir, I'm sure we will. Out. Anything? 
We've had a very quiet night. Our sniper is sleeping. Maybe, but we haven't. Men are getting on edge. They think we're wasting a lot of time. We're in this village, 15 hours, no rest, no recreation. The men need a breather. Saunders, in a few hours, there'll be a couple of hundred men in this village. Now, they'll be tired, too. You want to take the responsibility for their safety? All right, what are we going to do? We searched every building, every street in this village, and there's not a trace of them. It was made to Jampola, battalion. I told him about our sniper. He expressed confidence that we will have remedied the situation by the time he arrives. Just going inside. Where'd it come from? I don't know. He's dead, Sergeant. You still one of the snipers in town? Sergeant, it must have come from someplace up there. All right, take that, sir. Go on. Move. All right, get inside. Off the streets. Move. Take the rest of the buildings on the side. Well, not a trace. Keep the villagers off the street till this thing is settled. What do you think you're doing, Saunders? Lieutenant, we tangled with him yesterday. He doesn't like Americans. And he seems to be sure he won't get shot at. I want to know why. Est-ce la peur et la confusion qui vous fait abuser de ce pauvre Français? Vos canons ont démoli sa maison, tué sa femme et son petit bébé. Laissez-le donc tranquille, le pauvre gars, voyons. What is he saying, Cage? You better let him go, Sarge. Three days ago, our artillery hit his house, killed his wife, his kids. 
poor guy's out of his mind with grief. Tell him I'm, I'm sorry. On regret, vieux. On sympathise. On sympathise avec toi. Allez, rentrez dans la maison. Hein? Oui. Venez avec moi, mon petit gars. Venez, come on. keeps changing his position. He can see us, but we can't see him. All right. We'll let him think we're pulling out. Take the men, head up the road, turn around and double back. You and Case check the buildings at the end, edge of town. Let's hope he falls for it and gets careless. Let's go. The other way, Kirby. Yeah. You take the other side. Stay wide. Okay. okay. You're on me. Move on. This is looking for the sniper. And now he thinks we need his help. Yeah, well, maybe he's right. I saw it. There's some deserted buildings over there. And you saw someone entering the old factory. Factory? Let's keep him off the streets. Tell him to go home and uh, thank him. Allez, les gars, sir. Restez pas dans les rues. Rentrez à la maison. Vous avez compris? Vous allez nous appeler si vous avez besoin d'aide. And now he thinks we have to call him if we need help. Yeah, okay. Allez, allez. Allez, rentrez, hein? Et merci. Great. Let's take a look at that factory. Thank you. 
Lächle, François, lächle, wir sind Lieblinge. Komm, lächle. How's it go from the cafe? Bonjour, monsieur. Bonjour, mademoiselle. Hello, sergeant. What are you doing out here? You were told to stay in the house, off the streets. Oh, we, uh, we went for a walk. Well, you better get back to the village. Stay inside, the both of you, huh? Oui. Sergeant, you are not angry. No, Francois, I'm not angry. Bonjour. You didn't happen to see a man along this road, did you? Alone near the rooms of the factory? Uh, no. No. Bonjour. 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 The sniper is why he's in business in the first place. What's he trying to do? What is he trying to prove? That he hasn't lost, no matter what's happened to his outfit. Hey. Sniper. I found the sniper. Uh, he just lives here. Maybe he'll come back. And if he's seen us come in, what do we do now? Tell you what we do. Let's put back everything just the way we found it. We'll walk out of here just the way we came in.
sure that one, the sniper's not wearing a uniform. Two, he's in town to stay. And three, we have no idea where or when he's going to hit next. I think we should stake out at the factory and wait for him. Maybe. But if he ever saw you there, he'd never return. Maybe he didn't see us. Maybe he didn't. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Headquarters company's doing 20 minutes. I'll send Brockmeyer and Little John down to the factory. What do I do in the meantime? Stay put. Close by, anyhow. This is our command post. Right. Sergeant, would you like a little more coffee? Yes, please. Would you like some cheese, Sergeant? No, I'm not very hungry right now. I will leave it here. Perhaps later you would like some. Okay. What's the matter, Francois? Sniper? You seem different than the other people in this village. Kirby told me you learned English in a convent. Oui. Is that what you wanted to be? A nun? Oh. I uh, might have become one of them one day. What happened? War? It, uh, it was before the war. And why did you change your mind? I will uh, tell you something. When I was 14, I came to the village one day to buy some thread for the sisters. It was a little privilege. The mayor's son, he took me to his house. I was so young. No one would believe me. No one would forgive me. No concern for you. I, I'm sorry. You're sorry for me. You're sorry for yourself. You bear a grudge a long time. You make one mistake. The others, they come very easily. Why did you stay here? Why didn't you leave? Because I have a father. He's very old. He needs me. And after he's gone, what reason are you going to find to keep hating? Why do you talk to me this way? Let's just say I've seen a lot of people carry a bigger cross than you. And most of them make the best of it. I, I do not care about living. I have been dying a little bit each day. If I do not care about living, what does it matter to you how I feel? I don't know. I guess I'm tired. Tired of seeing everything destroyed and ruined. I know there's a reason for it, I know, and I had to learn to accept it. The war. But you, you've, you haven't got that reason. You're young, you're attractive, and... There's something very... very nice about you. Now, if somebody like you doesn't want to live, all this is just... It's useless.
Check the back. Hey, ask me if they've seen anybody. Yes, madame, vous avez vu passer quelqu'un avec un fusil. Non, nous n'avons vu passer personne par ici avec un fusil. Nothing. Why? I was going to him to tell him to leave. But 
you shouted at me. You won me. Because you were kind. Please try to understand. To be alone is a very bad thing. The German heart. I went to him, so I would not be alone. Hello, Sergeant. I'm going to see if Major Jappel's there. Get my report. Lieutenant. But the girl, there's no reason for telling her part in it, is there? Is there any reason not to? Well, it's all over now. What, what good is it going to do? You see, this town uh, never gave her anything. Looked down on her. All she needed was, was someone to hang on to, someone Someone. I guess she she found them. We lost two men. I know. She died saving my life. All right, Sergeant. 